If you regularly run a saved import or export operation, you can create an Outlook task that reminds you when it is time to run this operation. The Outlook task will include a Run Import or Run Export button that runs the import or export operation in Access. Open the database which contains the specification. When working with an import specification, this will be the destination database. For an export specification, this will be the source database. You can create the Outlook task when you save import steps. Start an export operation. Follow the steps in the wizard. At the end of the operation, Save Export Steps page is displayed. Select Save Export Steps. Select Create Outlook Task and click on Save Export. Access starts Outlook if it is installed. Or if you have an existing import or export specification, you can create an Outlook task for it. In the ribbon on the External Data tab, click on Saved Imports or Saved Exports to select your specification. Manage Data Task dialog box opens. Under the Saved Imports or Saved Exports tab, click on a specification to select it. Click on Create Outlook Task. Access starts Outlook if it is installed. Export Customers Task window opens in Outlook. In the Subject Text box, enter a descriptive name so that you can identify the task. Review and modify the task settings such as start date, due date, and reminder. If you want the task to run at specific intervals, click on Recurrence. In the Task Recurrence dialog box, specify at what intervals you want the specification to run and then click on OK. On the Task tab, in the Outlook Task window, in the Actions group, click on Save and Close. Outlook creates a new task, Export Customers to Excel. At the Scheduled time, Outlook displays a reminder. In the Reminder dialog box, click on Task to open the task in Outlook. On the Task tab, in the Microsoft Access group, click on Run Export. Before you click on Run, you must make sure that the source and destination files exist. The source data is ready for importing. Make sure that the operation will not accidentally overwrite any data in your destination file. Click on OK to perform the operation. The customer's Excel file is replaced without any warning. To run the specification later, open the task in Outlook. Click on Tasks in the Outlook navigation pane and then click on the task that you want to run. Let us try to run the task Import Contacts table from Contacts database. The selected task is an import operation where data is imported from another access database into Contacts table. On the Task tab in the Microsoft Access group, click on Run Import. A message box is displayed asking if you want to run the specification stored in Access Database. Click on OK to perform the operation. Open the database. Notice that the object which is imported is not replaced. A new object is created with a next up number at the end of name. See new table contacts one. 
Customer CA specification imports data to customer CA table from Excel file. When we run this from Outlook, it will replace the table without any warning. Open the customer CA. It has nine records and company name is test. Open the task import customer CA Excel file in Outlook. Click on run import. Now open the customer CA table and see that the data is replaced. Keep in mind when you run import or export operations from Outlook, the data can be replaced without any warning. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.